Meanwhile, a military manual leaked on the internet is revealing details of the way terrorist suspects are being treated at the U.S. naval base at Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. Covers everything from toilet paper to attack dogs. Let's go to our senior Pentagon correspondent, Jamie McIntyre. He's standing by live. Uh, why is the timing of this leak so fascinating, Jamie? Well, while the Supreme Court is about to grapple with the big question of whether non-U.S. citizens can challenge their detention in court, this Just Leak military manual provides a window into some of the little details about how those detainees at Guantanamo are treated. The unclassified manual posted on the website wikileaks.org outlines the SOP, Standard Operating Procedures, for Guantanamo's Camp Delta as of March 2004 when the manual was updated before the abuses of Abu Ghraib became public. Human rights advocates have zeroed in on the rules for a minimum security section designed as a reward for prisoners who cooperate. One requirement for guards to be assigned to Camp 4, excellent public relations skills. It shows that the government was much more concerned about creating a show camp, a Disney on Guantanamo, than it was about ensuring the international human rights and humane treatment of the detainees there. Some rules spell out fairly trivial matters, such as one section that reads, for special reward of a roll of toilet paper, the following procedure will apply. Give the detainee the roll of toilet paper. If the detainee tries to force the roll into the toilet or passes it out, confiscate the roll. Other sections detail how the treatment of newly arrived prisoners is designed to enhance and exploit their disorientation and concentrates on isolating the detainee. Among the restrictions, no contact with the Red Cross or a chaplain, no books or mail, a Quran, but no prayer beads or cap. Well, I think what's really notable about this is just the incredible petty cruelty and dehumanizing aspect of all of this. Detainees are punished for, for tearing a sheet or for very, very minor infractions. But the arguments about whether the treatment procedures at Guantanamo are humane really pale behind this much more fundamental question that the Supreme Court will be grappling with tomorrow. That is, whether these detainees have the right to go before a judge, Wolf, and argue that their confinement is unjust. Wolf? All right, Jamie, thanks very much. Uh, as of November, by the way, a little more than 300 de detainees are still being held at the U.S. Naval Base in Guantanamo. That, according to globalsecurity.org, and confirmed to us, by the Pentagon. That number, by the way, is down from more than 500 earlier. Since June of 2002, approximately 200 detainees have been released or transferred to their home countries from Guantanamo Bay. Let's go back to Jack. He's got the Cafferty file in New York. Jack.